In this video, I'm gonna summarize the entire urbanization case study of Rio de Janeiro. Welcome back to another Sunday morning coffee video. So we're continuing looking at urbanization. We're gonna specifically look at urban growth within an NEE. Now Rio is our case study for this. Rio is the second largest city in Brazil and it's seen rapid growth over the last 50 years. This has been due to fast development of industry and tourism in the city. And we're gonna focus on the challenges that come from rapid growth and urbanization. For this case study, we're gonna break it down into facts and the areas of Rio. Then we're going to look at the challenges and to finish off with improvements of squatter settlements. Rio is situated in the east coast of Brazil with a population of 6.7 million. It is known for the beaches, the Christ the Redeemer statue, Sugarloaf Mountain, sprawling favelas and the flamboyant Carnaval Festival. Rio is Brazil's second most important industrial centre and it accounts for 5% of Brazil's GDP. It's also a major port for exports of coffee, sugar and iron ore. If we start looking at the different areas around Rio, Northern Rio is famous for its industrial and port areas and its international airport. The oldest part of the city with its historical buildings is found in Central Rio. This is the central business district and the financial centre. In the west, we saw regeneration of the area for wealthier luxury apartments, recreational and tourist facilities. And this was where the main Olympic stadiums were for the 2016 Olympics. Finishing with Southern Rio, and this is the main tourist area. We see luxury flats that are overlooked by Rocina, which is the largest favela in South America. Now we're gonna look at the main challenges Rio is facing, and this is a result of rapid urbanization. As populations increase in cities like Rio, it can cause lots of issues and problems. When we start to look at the challenges of Rio, we can break it down into social, economic and environmental. It's really important that you distinguish between these different challenges to obtain higher marks. Let's look at social challenges. Healthcare is an issue with the lack of access in the favelas due to poor provision and facilities. Possible solutions have been to send medical staff in and improve the transport with cable cars. Education is also a challenge. It's compulsory from six to 14 years old, but many drop out to join local gangs. There is a shortage of schools and teachers. Possible solutions see volunteers going into the favelas to teach and grants for poorer families. Water supply is also an issue uh, with investment in water treatment plants in the future as well as energy supply and there is common blackouts across the city. Um, poor areas illegally tap into the main supply which is obviously dangerous and solutions include a new nuclear plant and new hydroelectric projects. Moving on to economic challenges. Now Rio is a growing economy and these factors have led to the growth of the city. So we've got the large population, we've got the financial sector, the port facilities and the industrial areas. Now Rio contributes 6% of Brazil's employment and it has the highest income per head in Brazil leading to a boom in retail and consumer sectors. Now despite the growth of the economy, unemployment and crime still are seen as a challenge. There is evidence that the 2015 recession led to large amounts of unemployment and widening of the wealth gap within the city. Unemployment rates in the favelas were over 20%. Most people work in the informal economy, which leads to further problems, which includes no contracts, no insurance, uh, no unemployment benefits. And these people often don't pay taxes, which has a knock on effect on governmental services. Education is seen as a way to reduce unemployment. Crime is also another challenge that Rio is facing. There is still a lot of evidence of violent crime across the city with street crime at night being a particular issue. Gangs still control some of the favelas and drug trafficking is still extremely common. The pacifying police units were set up to take back control of the most effective favelas. The most prominent environmental challenges we see in Rio include air pollution, water pollution and waste pollution. Air pollution is predominantly from traffic congestion around the city, steep mountain roads, tunnels that create bottlenecks 
and the rapid increase of the number of cars has led to a build-up of exhaust fumes. Rio has addressed traffic congestion by development of the metro lines, as well as investing in new toll roads and traffic management systems. New sewage systems and fines for ships discharging fuel have been implemented to tackle water pollution and a power plant that produces methane gas from rotting rubbish has also been set up. One of the biggest issues in Rio is the squatter settlements known as favelas. They were built illegally on land that they did not own and were socially deprived. As the population of Rio has grown, the favela populations have also increased at a similar rate. Rocina is the largest favela with an estimated population of between 150 and 300,000 people. The main issues in Rocina are the poor constructions of the buildings, poor access to services such as water, electricity and sanitation. We also see high levels of unemployment and crime as well as poor levels of health. There have been some improvement in conditions in Rocina as well as residents from other favelas being offered relocation to new areas. The Favela Biro project offered land and services for residents to build their own homes. The concept that the local authority would develop the infrastructure and the residents would be responsible for the construction has been fairly successful. There have still been some issues with this project, such as the infrastructure not being maintained, lack of skills to make repairs and upgrades, as well as rising rents. That is my summary of the Rio case study that illustrates some of the challenges associated with rapid urbanisation within a newly emerging economy. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Next up, we'll be looking at the London case study.